Hello, tacticians and strategists, admirals and sailors of the Second World War. Welcome back to Strategic Mind of the Pacific and Playing Hardball. Our campaign for the Imperial Japanese is continuing. Our second visit to Pearl Harbor is commencing. We have found a second fleet. Our Super Yamato has started to shoot at them. Let's begin with a short view of our beautiful ship. Here, there they are in the entrance to the, free, uh, to the harbor of Pearl Harbor. Burning Iowa class battleship. We are going to sink her now. And the burning Baltimore class heavy cruiser here. Um, then we have landed here in the no uh, southwestern part of Oahu, the main island that has Pearl Harbor, that contains Pearl Harbor. However, we are blocked by all these bunkers, the fortifications. Um, and we have to find the convoy escorts that departed here at Honolulu. And well, evidently they made their way already to the east. Because we can look for three tiles, one, two, three, so they are not here anymore. We saw it, that their our spies had told us that they were departing. So, and I'm not even sure that we can catch up with them, but if we want to get secondary objective and we must, so we get the medals, we will have to put our ships at risk, I fear. And also the Yamamoto needs to sail as far as she can, but I'm actually not convinced that we can just catch up with them if they come around the island and then I guess I'm not sure like maybe they will if they reach this here or they go north or something but it will surely they, it wouldn't make sense if they were like sailing very far north so we don't have much time in other words and we need to capture the oil facilities here the oil storage three of them actually so that's the problem and we have heavy rains which is actually pretty good for us because our planes can work nicely in the rain or most of the planes so our guys here got shot up by these nasty two destroyers that seem to be operating here within Pearl Harbor I mean that's what I personally expected like destroyers here to search for submarines that might sneak into the harbor and they will surely have submarines around we destroyed one here and the worrying thing is we only found and destroyed three, uh, three submarines so far um, and there will surely be more yeah otherwise here on the island of Kauai, Kauai things are commencing further and let's start here that's the easy part not many options here yeah and well with an autistic attention to detail we have to do this here and every little misstep and mistake can accumulate and will mess us up so let's hope i don't make any mistakes that are grave so and then here we got our recon got shot up unfortunately i should have pulled them back shouldn't have kept them here directly near the city but i had thought i think that uh, they could pull back again fortunately someone thinks they are rather expendable so it only costs us five prestige infantry go forward into the rough terrain so you have better defensive values artillery follow up and now you guys pull back and with your heavy you have two with your heavy attack and with your heavy mortars with range two we have reduced their entrenchment and you guys attack them or did they actually reduce the entrenchment i'm not sure but at least they got the previous attacks. Or is there only a chance? A deal additional damage to an enemy entrenchment. No enemy can well, the oh yeah, no, but now, now you guys have a better shot. Good. Okay, then. So, 
Princeville and the supply hub will be ours soon, I guess. Yeah, and the plane will fly back now to the main islands. So over here, there is this nasty infantry there that is uh, working to get the fort back that we took over there. So let's fly, uh, let's sail the carrier here. Um, have one oh no well actually so how how to how to do this what i want to do and we have two main options now or or rather two main targets um so we need to get to the old storage so we need to take this airfield and then i want to get our guys here who are also paratroopers or they have the paratrooper ability let's get them on planes one of them will fly around here land here and take that and then the other one will daringly fly over there and land here and attack there we have three more turns to pull this off so that will be rather hard yeah so well but let's start here let's bomb them let's bombard them and sink the iowa battle class ship they have a range of one two three four five oh well yeah well but they are messed up so sink them main main gun the american Good. naval forces around the hawaiian islands are defeated our fleet has proven once again that it has no equal in the world congratulations admiral nagumo you our marines and pilots have demonstrated the indomitable samurai spirit. The naval battle for Hawaii will go down in history as an example of the superb martial skills of the Imperial fleet. Well, Nagumo is maybe a little bit full of himself, but well. So then this one here. One, two, three, four, five. So they are in a slightly better. No, they are actually worse off. So it doesn't matter. But let's shoot them once. We have forward observer thanks to our sub regular shot no special expensive ammunition one shot our mighty weapons will smite good and then let's actually closing the sail there Oh, well, it doesn't matter much. So let's actually draw attention away from uh, our carriers who will be here. Let's have another shot. We might sink it. Or actually... Just show us you guys, we could sink it with torpedoes. Oh yeah. So let's do that. Like this. Su suddenly showing up out of the rain a destroyer very good they've got a shell hole and now all their weapons have been used and we are actually shooting at you and by the way we remember what happened here with these fighters right so we had used a kamikaze plane and I wanted to use it on the Baltimore because I had feared that the Baltimore, which was in better condition, yeah, but still with the with uh, the fires raging, um, but I had feared that it would come forward and start shooting at our destroyers, our Akizukis. Fortunately, that didn't happen because they didn't have us on in their radar, so they didn't know where our ships were. So you sail second. forward here. And then you come up. And you might even sink it. Take this, you dirty rats. Good. So there. Sunk. Then we shoot our targeting the enemy regular shots and now they have previous attacks have a taste three All hail the now emperor. actually we can use the secondary gun there is 
like this. And well, let's rather save the ammunition. Although no, the other our other ships can rather bombard this here. Um, our strength is in numbers of dead enemies. Well, on the other hand, our guys need the experience, of course, for the attack. So let's attack once with this one. Target. And then once at the fort over there. Yes, this one. And then you guys Entering the sail area. forward. That's our forward uh, escort because All it should have yeah, one more movement point. So we are sailing there. Looking for submarines, nothing here in a range of three. We are the instrument of the Emperor's will. Now you guys are uh, you Our go one forward. Numbers of dead enemies. Your orders. You guys Entering come here area. and you use your anti air to finish it off and you also get the kill with this. Greetings. Very good extra experience because they only have level three so that's our newer one so and then you at your shoot up the fort and then you guys are on your way the super yamato sails forward So, and the thing is, I would like to use our third shot. We can't, we don't want to sail into the uh, coastal battery, of course. I would like to shoot at these guys here, and we need to take this regular infantry. Almost out of torpedoes. Right now, we have forward observer. We are the muscle of and the Imperial Navy. How to pull this off we need to, we need to see them and we need to have a forward observer we could send a plane in on the other hand we don't have so many planes or we don't have any planes down here huh? the carriers don't have any planes we don't have any planes around this corner okay that's not good yeah, and having the planes fly over there it's also not such a good idea yeah no okay then we need to do something else you start a seaplane they are good. Three star regular infantry and here also and they are heavily entrenched. All crew is reporting. All guns ready. Let's bombard them. I hope we are not shooting the infrastructure. Come on, don't destroy the infrastructure. Crap. One, two. That was a very bad shot, actually. Crap. Well, Still here. Protectors of the that's fleet. just how it goes. Then you... Oh yeah, you can look for submarines there. One, two, three. So nothing here. That area and you're our second our defensive control. escort. And you Observing stay behind, rest. actually. Take this. this one once. And once more. Target. Yeah, that's actually good. So, and then because I plan something, so well, by the way, here, so tank shouldn't Amber. go into the death zone with their sapper. So, let's do something. There's the artillery there. I obey your orders. You guys, you are scouts. You go and All take the airfield, and we need to. Bring someone over. Um, they didn't identify them, so we need our recon over here. So tanks go here on the mountain. Rapid assault from an unsuspecting direction on the sluggish artillery there. Very good. And uh, these guys are fortunately out of ammo and they don't get anything because on the mountain 
they don't they don't have any supplies and uh, well they don't want to leave their fortification there which is of course not very smart of them can they actually move at all yeah they have one movement point well by the way that's i would consider that a bug that these guys are not moving back now but maybe they can't get on the mountain again maybe that's one of the problems I'm not sure about that, but still, I would pull them back. Yeah. You will never know Our flag shoots this plane. Very good. We and then down enemies of the Empire. Our infantry, the flamethrowers, goes here and should shrug off. Because of the rain, they should shrug off the overwatch fire from the bunker there. Yep, very good. We flame the bunker and take it over. Very good. That's why I like the flamethrower so much. It saves us a lot of time. Zappers demine the minefield. And now we control this area. And now our recon drives there. Driving around. And then, yes, we have side over there our carriers sail in and then we actually we shoot the sky don't destroy the infrastructure come on one precise shot please crap we are destroying the infrastructure there. We are the heart of the Imperial and you guys come here. No our infantry. Yeah, we, we need another shot on them. Come on, don't destroy the harbor. Crap. Oh yeah, well, no, it works. Okay, good. And now you guys. Take them. Inf uh, artillery support. But due to the rain, we are fine. Very good. And our guys get a level. Let's have Terrain Expert for some more defense. And yeah, well, unfortunately, well, we have to go here. And unfortunately, these guys, I think they need to take the, the harbor there. They are on strength one. They are actually not dangerous. On the other hand, like if we take this one, so the enemy seems to prioritize attacking forts. Um, might be a good distraction because they can actually shoot it on the land here. Very nasty, this coastal battery. I obey your orders. So you go here, in order here, take over the maritime fort. We can keep a secret. Yeah. Um. Oh, well, actually, no. Nah. Well, it would be... Oh, yeah, okay, no. Actually, they will start shooting at us. So we go here, take over this. And then you guys... Go here for two. Take over this one. Another shot. Good. And that's ours. And by the way, the beauty is that they don't have any more ammo now. That's also a thing. Like in the rain, yeah, that's actually that was probably a really good thing. It's an honor. Um, sir, in the Imperial anti one, two, three, four, forces. five. So let's stay here. Enemy aircraft will find their death Where we are still supplied here for our flak tank, and then we keep this uh, hell diver under control with our reaction shot. So, um, so what else? So we've control over there, and now you guys can get on a plane, actually. Oh no, you don't. Yeah, we don't need to put them on a plane right now. We need the we need the shot, the third shot. Uh, we, no, sorry, we already had that. Okay. Um, well, yeah, let's put them on the plane. Park on a plane. Now you sail here. 
flank there. We serve faithfully. You guys. We will go here. If the enemy is ahead. Look for subs. One, two. Oh no, we have we have three, right? Improved sonar. It's three, yeah. So so there are no subs around here. Very good. We are the sea wolves. And yeah, unfortunately. That's just where we get something. And, well it would be great, but we need to get going, I think. So let's sail forward with this guy. With the hero let's sail forward so checking if we run into someone we know that from the radar of the ship one two three four so like up to here there was no enemy ship and now with the side range of three tiles thanks to our good improved optics one two three so we know that no one is here okay hmm Well, our sub can't do much, so let's go here. The sharks have found their there. Uh huh. The Someone. Yeah. Okay. So they have definitely left the area of the, the harbor. Waves. Oh, there's a coastal battery. Another coastal battery. Repeat. More coastal battery. But nothing here. So they have this here and there. Almost out of torpedoes. Oh, and we see something, okay. Almost out of torpedoes. Yeah, yeah, I know we only have one torpedo left. It's horrible. Um, yeah. Someone's there. Let's have a look. Oh, there are more ships, okay. By the way, let's make sure that this is... Is this the convoy? Yes, they, oh yeah, that's, that's the convoy. So... Alan M. Sumner class, but they are rookies, okay? That makes sense. Makes sense. That rookies get escort service. Okay, well, so what do we do? I think we don't have any chance to catch up with them. We will be victorious. Next turn, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we can shoot for seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, and there will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight even. And then after that, I guess we have like around two turns or so to catch them, I guess. Okay, unless we find something to keep them occupied. Almost out of two and that is our guys here. We need to attack them, I think. It's very bad. They will attack us. They will search for the sub. But I think we have to do it. Otherwise, we have no chance of catching them. I mean, we have our guys up here, our heavy cruisers, the Mugamis, who have been both torpedoed already. The Navy is the stalwart defender By the way, let's the shoot Empire. this one so we can... The coastal battery so we can actually sail forward and actually why don't you why don't you shoot this one once more and then our uh, here our infantry that is sailing uh, flying in here and will paratroop down their troops and then they will take this nasty radar there this will all happen in this turn we need to know what's this here now. Oh yeah, and by the way, so this tank here, this will provide us with some information. Then we know for sure what this is. My suspicion is that this is either infantry or fort, because probably no coastal battery. Uh, the coastal batteries are most likely on the shore. Yeah, and not probably not here on the road like that. On the other hand, like this here, this coastal battery is on a tile with the road, but they have the road around here. So my feeling is that there is no more coastal artillery here. Yeah, most likely not. Maybe here. And here. 
Yeah. Well, so let's do this tank. What? How do we do that? I think. The warriors of the sky so the thing is, the our fighters is don't destroy the infrastructure, and we are. I mean, now it doesn't matter anymore. We are too late. Uh, but the Mugamis already refueled and everything, so they are fine for quite a while. Submarine, not uh, this guy here, not now. But I think we are keeping this guy back with six. He's he's uh, defending the carrier. Well, these guys, they are also refueled. Yeah, with our harbor here. So we can get going there. But let's do the uh, the tank first. So I think it is probably for the best. We don't have a tank battle. You guys are too weak. And I, I want to take them prisoner so we get the information. And we also, well, we could use you guys then you are destroying them completely but I'd rather use our dive bombers here they have attack 5 and then you can even fire bomb this guy that would be better I think I want the I want to attack the destroyer otherwise they will just keep harassing our planes and shoot down the planes all the time and now with the rain we actually have the best conditions that we get I guess that's probably for the best <laughs> We have we have a lot of overwatch though. So both ships have overwatch. Usually, yeah, this one has it, and the older Fl Clemson has it as well. And the anti-air is here. This is the nasty one. So, how to pull this off? The warriors. I think you guys are at your command. You are breaking the overwatch, and then you are. Not attacking we this one. Storm. Yeah, I don't want to use the wrong planes. So this, this is him. You can uh, attack two. Yeah, and you are fur furthest away. Let's take the planes that are furthest away. You a fighter here. are a fighter and you need, you need to refuel as well. So you can also attack this guy. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. We could actually, we could actually just fly here and then we trigger one. Yeah, should be okay. We trigger this one. I hope so. Come on, don't down a plane here. With yep, there. Oh no, there, the ship is sh shooting okay. Okay then, so and then we are shooting the, the tank is there. The so good. The Just a regular attack without the bombs. Very good too. And now you guys Already go there. here. And then we need another plane. A fighter here. Like you guys. The sky you are like our enough. altitude. I, I'd like you to destroy this guy. Or can we actually do something? Our artillery is here. One, two, three, four. The artillery could actually use the experience nicely. And then with the tank, we could go forward. But the artillery here could shoot us. That's the thing. I don't want that. Although they are not so good with hard targets. And with the rain, so might be fine even. But our artillery, I think we should rather shoot the infantry there. The warriors of the sky and these guys. Are in your command. They have 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So they can't do much actually. Did 
attacking ones. Well, they could trigger. They could trigger another uh, a reaction fire here. And then we are just flying in. Who do you want me to yeah, kill? this guy gets the kill then. Because he's got altitude, she j then just stays there and pulls back one. One, two, okay, yeah, then let's do that. With altitude still on, should be fine, right? One, two, three, four, five. He might even trigger the other shot. Or oh, actually, that would be uh, the best, actually. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We deliver death. Yeah, no, let's do this guy first. Now, uh, well, the one the, I wonder which one is actually triggering at first. Maybe the ship. So you guys. Fly here. Yeah, let's do it with this guy. Already there. Flying like that. Yeah, it's the ship. Good. Good. And now you guys attack the train, the, t uh, the tank, so this guy. Got the bomb. We could actually attack the infantry, but there are more important targets for us. But yeah, we don't do anything here that's useful. Yeah. No, you ju you stay here. So Our the the fighter with the ready. the altitude, you do that. You could actually oh you could actually do something here actually that would be better. Hmm. Yeah, we need to attack them. We deliver death. So you guys already have the Overwatch. But well, we need one attack on the tank, of course. The sky is now let's we uh, these guys do it. Sharks. Yeah, these guys get the tank then. Get let's do it. Oh come on, no. Okay, well, fortunately, just one uh, damage plane. So, oh come on. Now we only have n strength nine. Oh, we don't do anything now with anybody. Crap. They neutralized the plane. They just neutralized the plane. Crap. Ah, but uh, if we bomb them, it's, it's still fine. And uh, it doesn't matter if the infrastructure gets hit a bit. So it should be fine. So let's attack the, uh, the tank with the bombs then. Flying in, and then next turn they get the repairs. Good. Okay then. And now you guys take them prisoner. Our recon unit. Oh come on! Oh come on! Why not? Ah, uh, what is happening here? They were supposed to... Oh, come on. Oh, well, that is actually... That was not good. I wanted the information. And now, we don't have anybody to do it. We need the information on this here. There's someone else here. Crap. I mean, we could still, they, they don't get anything if we take this all over. And they are, they are basically defenseless. So if we go here, uh, we should actually be fine. So the tank, at your tank can go here and take the airfield and then block them off. This the plug goes here. But there might be a fighter coming in. 
Because what I want to do is to attack this here. The, the whole purpose of this thing was to um, free up everyone so our planes can attack this one. But the, um, the bombers, yeah, that's the beauty. Eight attack with the fire bomb. Saving bullets for priority targets. Yeah, you need ammunition, our our elite fighter. We don't get anything here though, because the hub is burning. Okay, so then let's fly here. And she can even attack twice, so let's get new bombs. And now you can't reach anybody, crap. And if we use afterburner, we could actually even attack that one. So we, I think we should uh, get over here. Yeah, let's fly over here with our hero. That's the best we can do right now because, uh, and then we are neutralizing this very nasty anti-air. Let's do that. Let's do that actually. And he's got all weather fuel economy. Yeah. I probably should have taken the incredible resistance with them, by the way. But I still feel that the fuel economy is actually also better. So we are flying in now with the afterburner, and after that we don't have any afterburner anymore. Are there any targets? Flying in. I think we should not trigger any uh, overwatch anymore because there's nothing. Which is a good thing. So now, identified and two bombs. And this way, that's even better. On uh, range two, we are also triggering the defensive fire here. And have an another one. There, very good. Strength reduced by four permanently. Four lethal damage, excellent. So this hampers them a bit. And then we just stay over them. And the next turn we attack them and then we fly out. Very good. Very good indeed. Did we only use up one bomb? That's even better. Yeah, well, that's actually great. Okay, good. Did that uh, uh, change anything for you? No, it didn't. So let's use up something else. So they are triggering the defensive fire. A fighter here. We have you guys. Ah, oh, yeah. Which one was it? You are the altitude guy, and you've got the bomb. Low on fuel. Let's do you it. You are low on fuel. The enemy won't see us coming. Yeah. Well, uh, let's let's have the carrier first. We shoot up the infantry here. Zero effect now. Oh, it's such a waste. What does the emperor want our, us to do? Our guys here. Yeah, but they they need to return. So let's have them attack the infantry there. That's really crappy. Finally reduce one. I can feel this fear. We are still not causing any damage. Hmm. Did you see the size of our gun? Okay then, so the artillery fires. Oh well actually or should the artillery fire and destroy this guy? I mean they will only have one uh, one strength left, but we need to destroy them. I don't want to get a shot from these guys now. We can kill the enemy without even seeing them. But in the rain it might be worth it. And that way we free up a plane.
Alright, let me check the other plans. For well, you guys, you are here. If you get... Oh yeah, they, are, they only have two experience levels, that's the problem. With bombs, still zero. So they are, they are out of the picture um, to do anything. They could do this, but then they need to retreat one here. And then uh, they are also susceptible to attacks and they only have two experience levels, so... So they are actually more suited to attack the Our infantry here. You guys ready. have the altitude, so you are probably the best shot, but you are also good to attack here and then just stay here. Um, you guys... are in the same position as the level 2, except for the fact that you are better suited to be uh, around here. And if we fly back and get bombs for you, you are, you are not going to uh, be in range to return, I think. 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. But they can do it to destroy them and then go back one back. So let's do it with them. Yeah, let's do it with them. Returning. They could also use the afterburner, by the way. They have two afterburners, but I'd rather uh, not use them yet. Yeah. Yeah, let's have these guys do it. We don't even need to use the bomb. They will feel the rain Flying the there. Was, that was, by the way, it was a waste of fuel to activate the Overwatch breakthrough. I just did that. Uh, they are good. Destroyed. And then pull back one. Because this here, one, two, three, four, five, has a shot there, and we don't want them to concentrate on one plane. So the now you the sky are have one command. attack. Did they use their air defense? I think so. Yeah, yeah. So let's do this. Bring Attacking. Death. To the enemies of the Emperor. Triggering the defensive fire. Very good. One torpedo tube hit. Well. And then you guys fly here and you gain altitude. And now they have one more shot with the bow force. And they have no shots with the bow force. And these guys, by the way, they are also out of ammunition. And what is this? That's the airfield. Oh, that's an airfield. Yeah, okay. So we could also bomb this one so they don't get any more ammunition. Yeah, but I'd rather use the rain to uh, put some harm on the destroyer here. So then we've got you guys. You were supposed to attack here as well, right? This one, only for two. Okay, that's actually not worth it. And that's the last fighter though. Oh, we attack there. Oh no, well, we have, oh yeah, we have three afterburners. But they are very prone to attack by these guys then. And we need to work on the infantry here. Ah. Yeah, well, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, it's safer for the level 2 fighter anyway. Which is why we didn't use the afterburners yet, because uh, we didn't have any uh, mission that, that was really problematic. Always first. You go here and no then can exceed the range of our still guns. only two. We will die if necessary. Yeah, they are ignoring the entrenchment. 
Well then, let's attack with the infantry first. First strike. Still only two. Okay then. Bombing them. So now, uh, now for these guys, we want to trap them. So the tank goes to the airfield. I hope I will live long enough to see the demobilization. Which might be um, threatened most. So then we the artillery. And we've the got these guys. They can only get there. Okay, artillery point. shouldn't be in the front, of course. So artillery takes the port. A new achievement in the, the problem is, of course, that the enemy knows that we are here now. And that we have all these troops here. And the flak goes there. We cannot be One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. So and that's actually not so bad because if enemy fighters swoop in, um, we have some flak cover. Although they d they know that they that we have it now. That's the big problem now. Imperial spies. And you guys. At your service go here and defend the others and stay stay close Large yeah they can actually the oh no we are not demining so I'm not sure if they get actually but well, they could actually probably possibly get away I'm not sure but I think we should actually block them yeah and they have the minefield yeah I'm not sure if they can just go through the minefield so you guys go here. What is that? There's something. I are driving there. We have three, five more. I are. Oh yeah, it's artillery. Okay. Oh yeah, they can shoot the tank. And you guys have four more movement points. Oh yeah, it's it's a bunker. Okay. And then let's fall back here. And next turn we are going to get this tank. I want the information on uh, the target information here. Yeah. Okay then, so. Then, we shot this guy. We don't want to destroy it now. Oh yeah, that's better. Yeah, this is our level 4 Mogami. Okay then, so let's shoot this one. Right. Good. So, and then we are sailing through. There. And there, and you guys, go here, how far can the others sail, they can go directly here, so you guys, go forward there, and here in the front, which is kind of risky, but I want to search for subs in the front. Our strength is in numbers. You guys sail there, look for subs. Nothing, okay. Just yeah, well, we, may, we need to come forward, so we need to sail here. Start the engine. All in, all forward. Because I want to cut off, you know, we are going to sail around here. And maybe if the convoy comes north, we might cut them off even so and for that we need to make as much speed as we can so the problem is i want to see what's going on we here to serve this let's have a seaplane then seaplane yeah well um well, we should actually, but the camouflage. So if it's a, a fort, they have a natural camouflage of one. And then the rain is also providing something. So we are not necessarily having accurate target information, but let's fly here. I would like to just fly here. One, two, three. So theoretically we should see everything. 
but due to the rain it's not necessarily true so let's only fly here oh yeah oh yeah and we've not identified this one here that's bad but that's actually the worst thing that could have happened because this one is the one that is providing cover fire there okay that's not good and that's our sub that is providing forward observer our strength is in numbers of dead enemies well then let's shoot this one up a bit for four because that should be two damage right yeah two four yeah, you can't hit him okay we should be going back for well then you shoot this one as well twice that should be enough and then let's land our infantry flying here the spy plane also check that there's no uh, no anti-air there landing taking over excellent beautiful beautiful and now it's two uh, let's do this one another two this one is four we don't want to destroy it so let's shoot it two excellent and now you guys take over the fort offensive machine gun fire very good and we've got the fort now very good and we are controlling the road over here that's excellent 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 i love it i love it so now we control the radar which means we see everything that's going on here that's good and we deny the enemy the view so they have a pretty good uh, information on what we are going to do with these guys next turn we are attacking this bunker because we are shooting this one up some more and by the way let's firstly sail around with the sub nothing here right no okay nothing else you are shooting it up some more And then another one for secondary, good. Like that, good. So, and now next turn they can easily take over this bunker, then we control the road. And they they go, I think, yeah, they are going along the road. Take this one and uh, the turn after that. No, they, yeah, next turn they are taking this one and walk up here. And the turn after that they take the coastal battery and walk up the mountain and the third turn they take the uh, radar station and can attack this one here from behind and then someone else needs to help out so and i want to use our infantry with the flamethrowers with the hero to actually go there and take that fort problem is that they actually can't really get away there but well i guess the this infantry will attack the fort once more but with strength three they were they are probably not uh, able to do any harm i want to keep the fort just in case then uh, so let's start with the planes we know that there's no more anti-air here but artillery there so planes we do not have any more fighters do they the actually have defensive fire no or it didn't change anything but well so maybe we actually hit the oh now now the ability to hit uh, the engine that would be beautiful right now actually to immobilize them because they have so much uh, defense Only a few oh and by the way you one two disengage. three four five you can actually fly forward a bit if we fly you back yeah now it would be beautiful if we had a functioning airfield here but we don't 
because the uh, the hub, the maritime hub here, is burning. So we need one more turn to repair it. So you guys, you could have two attacks, and you only have one ammunition left. Very sad. And if we pull back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Just one tile away. Very sad. Or we just attack once. Yeah, let's do that. Let's attack just once. We need to mess up that destroyer. Good. And then you've got nine movement points, so you fly here, here like this, and then he can coordinate. Thanks to scouting, he can uh, move later, and he's going to coordinate all other attacks. That's the beauty right now. So now for heavy. the still only eight I had hoped that we would hit the engine so can someone else attack you only have one hmm. how about our torpedo bombers yeah the problem is the torpedoes they were they are just dodging the torpedoes three Okay, now let's let's use this guy first. That's five lethal damage. And yeah, they are not getting uh, they are not getting the um, attack debuff. That's the thing. So I guess it's not getting better than these eight here. So ah, but. He's got altitude, so he can actually stay a bit um, closer to the shore in case they want to return fire. So, I think we are only attacking the hull once eh, with this one. One, two, three. One, two, three. Can you actually fly somewhere else? No, you can't. No. One, two, three, uh, yeah, well, so let's do this with him. Ah, but we can use another fire bomb. Yeah, let's do the fire bomb and the main gun. Two fires, he can only put out one. Costs us 10 prestige for two fire bomb attacks, but it's fine. So I think it's a good investment. Good, and then we are flying well, there away first fire is raging on them and they can only uh, extinguish one per turn Those bombs are quite dangerous. now with you, you guys know. yeah it's not getting better the so let's use the torpedo bombers first i think we can cannot really torpedo the guy and they well they all Go for three away. Uh, uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, it's a problem. Oh no, here. One, two. Yeah, it's a problem now. But at least we have some fighter defense. What does the Emperor These guys. Do? I think we are not going to shoot any. Uh, Yeah, no, let's have this guy first, sorry for thinking so long. Let's have this one with the fire bomb, and then he goes here, and then we've got uh, the flag. One, two, three, four, five. Now, taking this one, main gun. Very good. 
Hull main gun. So this is the thing that we don't uh, that we want to destroy. And we don't have any more fighters to help us with. But if there are enemies, then uh, our planes are a bit safer over here, I guess. Um, one, two, three. So these, we have two more, two more uh, torpedo bombers. Yeah, and they can go here. Okay. Yeah. So you are you are you are here. There better be target. The altitude. Gaining altitude. Two fires raging. They will extinguish one, and then they get one more exp uh, one more, uh, no, two more damage from them. You guys get five more fuel. Yeah, and there's no chance to. We didn't hit the engine, and I think it's really hard to hit the engine. So these guys, they are already messed up a bit. Strength 8, so they should be in the best position here. With two fighters covering them. Let's and you attack them. Very good, level up. Ah yeah, very good. Time to get the, the altitude here with them. Level up. That was just in time. So, and they, they fly here. They have the least experience and also two strength less altitude. You now you guys, now they are actually uh, worse off because they don't have altitude, but whatever. So, attacking. By the way, it doesn't show that we have our hero here. Hmm. Yeah, they are still completely maneuverable. Bombing, another hull, very good. And then we fly there. Ah yeah, but if a, if there is a plane, one, two, three, four, five. So if, some, if a plane comes around, we might even catch it, depending on the flight path. Very good, it's burning. Five, down to five hull damage. The engine got two hits, no, one hit, okay, yeah doesn't transfer to a loss of movement points though but it's nice so an additional two damage that they get we weren't so lucky but uh, I think we we did the best we could so and you are getting out of here now oh and you cannot reach the carrier anymore so let's fly here to the airfield and landing on the airfield let's hope no one is bombing them yeah, they can attack, so it should be fine. Oh, they can actually shoot. Well, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay then, so I think that was an autistic uh, struggle, but well. So all planes have done their job, lots of stuff. And all our ships, you guys are here. Yeah, and well, now the big thing is, what do we do? I think we are going to uh, torpedo them. So this is definitely one of our targets. So we don't want to attack them whenever we can. We have only one torpedo left and can only move away. So they are going to catch the submarine. We have four experience levels, a reasonable amount of defense. The unseen front would be good now because we have both submarines together. Actually, I think like with the uh, fifth uh, thing, we should take that. Although now the wreck havoc would be a good thing, but they would just repair the damage to their engine. So let's attack them from here. Sudden attack to hull, and they know uh, know where we are. We are dodging the torpedo very good, and we are diving away. And now we are helpless. <laughs> it's horrible, but at least it's raining. So that's also a good thing. So they have been torpedoed one shell, which they will repair. 
Um, and that's all that we can do. And if they go here, they will actually see both submarines, which is not so good. They are there. Oh yeah, and you can actually do one more. Nothing here. Okay. You guys have already advanced. So, and that's our situation. Ground units. You guys are over there. I hope you are not being attacked. But if so, we will get defensive fire from our artillery. You guys are there. Yeah, we can't do anything else. We brought these guys into the air. We have defensive fire here and there. In case a plane swoops up, but that shouldn't be possible. Did we use our sonar here? Yes, we did. So, it's as, as good as it gets. Oh yeah, and by the way, so we've got the... No, we did the shot already. Yeah, yeah, we shot them. And we messed up the infrastructure. That's really bad. And the shot wasn't even so good. But we killed one, at least. So, that's... That's all. Not so good. And we have only three turns left. So next turn, these guys need to get into the air and fly over there. Which is why we are, uh, already attacked this uh, entire air here. That's the plan. Then uh, I think we are done. We guys could necessary. move some more. Oh yeah. Um, I think the planes will destroy this guy here. On the other end, our planes... Yeah, okay, no, we are doing that. Oh, they can actually shoot once more. Very good. Yeah, yeah. So you guys go here now. And the next turn, one, two, three. We are taking over that one. With the flamers. Yeah, yeah, that's what we do. Okay. Go here into the city, just in case someone drives around. And well, we do have a good camouflage here. Also, we are camouflage experts. City and rain. So they basically they think there's no one here. I think. I doubt that the tank can see us there. So if someone drives in, they might we might be in they might be in for a surprise. Reconnaissance is our job. Martial arts. Yeah, I'd like our camouflage hobby. for these guys here. By the way, there is no hero. Who is for surveillance? Yeah. Well, I guess the Germans have that. So, I think we are done here. We've uh, taken over a lot of forts. One coastal battery so far. Second one is going to follow soon. Very bad and sad that we couldn't get the information out of the tank here. They still know what we are doing here, which is not so good. But well, they they did anyway because they have the radar here. We could have shot this one. But no one was available to do the job. Yeah, but it's fine. So, oh, and uh, let's not forget our Pete. You return home. You are also returning home. Uh, we could actually. No, I don't want them to be shot. Ah, yeah, but actually, let's do something. You are flying like here. You are flying here and you're checking out all of this. Like this one. Is this a reasonable flight path? Yeah. Good. Let's do that. Just so we use the seaplane. Good. Not being shot down. Okay, that's infantry. Okay, well, well then. We probably should have instead used this one here, but yeah, I guess it's fine. So, and then you return home as well. And A tactical bomber is here. why do we have 15? Why does this one? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's only 13. No, okay. <laughs> Another little bug there. So, okay. So, we are done there. We have Empire locked this guy in. Oh, One, two, watch. three, four, five. If he, if he flies somewhere, we are going to shoot him. The reaction shot. So, and good thing is the, the rain is gone. Um, 
yeah, well, and I guess that's as much as we could do. Huge progress, in my opinion. We didn't clear this infantry here, but our fighters or other planes should actually not have too much trouble in neutralizing them. And you guys, yeah, you can just stay here. Oh, no, actually, you can go one more here. Because then the enemy doesn't know anymore where we are. So, like that. And we are also providing our anti-air screen here a little bit more. Okay, so. That's as good as it gets, I I guess. Let's end the turn. We didn't forget any anything, right? We serve faithfully. No, we didn't. Your orders. Yeah, I guess it's fine. So, and by the way, if they move, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's not position. ideal, but it's at least it's raining, and we need to defend our carriers just in case there's a submarine just coming up. So let's we need to stay here, but we are ex uh, we are more experienced than them. No, we are not. But we should be better. Like this guy. I mean, he could shoot us, but he's messed up. So I guess he's not doing that. But this guy might come for us. Thinking that he's safe. One, two, three. Well, and. Well, but it's a Fletcher. So, and they. They have an attack of only nine. So I guess it should be fine. And our defense is relatively high. And we attack even with more. So it should be okay. And I'm not even sure if we are actually, if we were to take any damage there. But yeah, I guess we would. But well. Do you require assistance? One, two. Yeah, no, let's stay here. Also, it's better if uh, if they attack the escort, if they come around. Um, instead of the carriers. That's the thing. But they might even attack our guys here, who knows. So, anyway. So, thanks to everybody. Ending the turn. Menacing AI planning and yep, they are shooting at them. Okay. Yep, no effect. Good. They are firing at the plane that has altitude. Very good. No joy for them. Oh yeah, they they are coming back now. Spotting the subs. Oh no. One hull. Two hull down. Oh another. Oh yeah, that's the is a yeah, they are very good. Another hull, that's very bad, but Oh, another submarine. Oh, no, 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 that's not good. Firing there. Oh, yeah, they're also attacking the fort. Well, but that's that's okay for us. They are sailing around. Interestingly, okay, because they are burning, uh, they are shooting at the plane, okay. Also zero, they are attacking the other one now, okay, they are, oh, they can actually drive away. Okay, I guess those were the trend, yeah, those, those were the transports, right? They are here, flak ambushes them, very good, our flak tank, yeah, okay, well, they are now here. That's the Clemson. And these guys are there. Messed up. But well, they saved themselves. Because there's truly more uh, flak around here. No one can escape our fire. And these guys have they been they've not uh, uh, they've been repaired, okay. Uh, well then. That's the situation. Yeah, that is the situation. We've got another submarine here. That's a bit unfortunate. Um, oh, that's a Fletcher. Oh, it's another. It's another escort. 
So there are there is at least yeah. Well, I mean we we suspected that there is another fleet or something like operating in the east somewhere. Um well, and there is another submarine here. Which is of course not so good. But yeah. So they have and that where well, that's the logical thing to do, of course. So one of the two escorts that are escorting these uh the transport ships, one of them engaged us so the others can get away. So basically they are sacrificing themselves because we are the, the Yamato is coming over. One, two, three, four. We can even shoot them with the secondary guns. That's the beauty right now. So, however, what happens next, we will see in the next episode. When we are also hunting this tank here. And no one can help them. The artillery shoots there. Yeah, okay. So, and by the way, what happened to our plane? <gasps> Be careful with the bombs. Oh no. Two kills. Crap. So that was the artillery strike. One forty six. Crap. And the tank got damaged. Crap. But well, they didn't have any more fuel. That's that that was the problem. That was the problem. And I think we couldn't keep them in the air. Maybe I'd made a mistake there as well. So and so far that was, but it was not an overall, an overly costly turn actually. Um, strength is in numbers of dead enemies. Not utterly costly. But maybe we should actually attack this guy here with our planes first and sink it. Uh, well, they will repair some more, but they are they are not doing so well. Now yeah, we'll see. Although we we have them at their at our mercy now, but well, the weather is pretty good now, which is bad because then they can also shoot our planes out of the sky. Yeah, yeah, pretty easily actually. So I think we are going to attack this one here, and we might even. We take over this one. We are ready to serve. Yeah, you guys go here and take that one. We might even slip in with our destroyer and attack that guy. And we have pretty good chances now because their main gun is down. That's actually that's what we should do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. We are in range there. That's good. That's good. But what happens, we will see in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Let's uh, let's end this with a very good view on our Super Yamato. Is actually the light is better from this side or from where? Where's the sun? From here. So, thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, please do click the like button and strongly consider to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet, so you never ever miss an episode again. And if you have any thoughts, tips and tricks, maybe if you know the game and played it yourself, how about you explain how you did it, how you pulled this one off for the walkthrough aspect of these uh, videos and the let's plays that I'm making. Um, yeah, and then we are continue next time. Uh, see you then, bye bye.